Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Holland campaign, now the Netherlands, in European Universal's 4. We're on a new patch. They uh, they put out another hotfix, and I believe that hotfix fixed the uh, the crash that I was having. It specifically was related to Windows 7 and Rebel Factions, as I predicted. Um, it, was, it was related to when a Rebel Faction you were supporting was killed. Which was what was causing us to, to crash the desktop. So anyway, um... Yeah, I don't really remember what else they changed. Oh, right, right, right. One one very important one is they fixed the uh, the effect of your spy network strength, giving you increased aggressive expansion instead of decreased. Apparently it was using the siege value, and somehow that was making it the opposite way that it was supposed to be, and also explains why it was doubled. That kind of thing. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of running out of things to, to do in this campaign. I don't really know what the goal is. I mean, there's people who want me to colonize. I don't really know that I want to colonize. France has claimed us, as has Sweden. How dare they? I mean, the whole thing that I did at the start of this campaign, we played it live on Twitch. People wanted me to play Holland because that was what they voted for, so we did. And I wanted to try out the new espionage ideas, and I've come to the conclusion that they're crap. So, eh. You know, there goes the whole campaign, practically. I mean, what else are we supposed to try to do? Just play a trade game? We could do that. That's fine. Maybe we'll work on that. But... I actually want to put together a video. I've, I've got some notes that I've put together of, um... How I would do espionage ideas. And I want to do, like, an, an adjustments video. Like, a room adjustments. Like, how would how would you improve espionage ideas? And, uh, just throw that out there. And just see... See what happens, you know? A lot of people have been suggesting we try the threaten war button. Um, but we have a truce right now. So Threatened War could be a great way to expand inside the Empire, even though uh, we're allied to the Emperor. That's pretty cool, actually. Let's improve relations with the Emperor. He is still the Emperor, right? Yes, he is. Cool. Let's see if we can steal some territory from some of these derps inside the Empire. I don't know if they're going to consider the strength of the Emperor as part of their relative strength of the Alliance. Considering that he's not technically an ally, and he's not in a coalition with that person, I know that they did fix it so that coalition members do consider the coalition when they're considering threat and war. But the Emperor might be different. So maybe we can still abuse it a bit. Let's take the Diplo Rep guy since we're still trying to integrate Scotland. Um, yeah, it was funny actually on Reddit, some of the people that were playing ended up with uh, a thousand aggressive expansion. They found out that there's a cap to aggressive expansion. You can actually get to a thousand and once you get to a thousand, you can't go beyond it. And the reason they did that's probably related to uh, being stupidly aggress aggressive with expansion as like the Ottomans or something, or somehow related to the espionage ideas thing. The thing that just still bugs me, and I'm just gonna, I gotta get this off the chest, is that the only thing that's actually any good out of this entire idea group would probably be like the first two ideas. The extra diplomat, always useful. Spy network construction, awesome, really good. And then this thing, having study technology. Uh, but beyond that, everything else is just crap. Like all these special abilities are stupid. You get caught too often. Support rebels sucks. Like none of it's any fun. I just, I don't get it, you know? It's like... Uh, they did a great job, I see. With, with Mar Mare Nostrum, they did a great job with the, the naval stuff. Which makes sense, because that's what you know, Mare Nostrum means. Is, uh... Our sea, or something like that, I think. So, they did a great job with that part, but the espionage revamp, revamp is just... I don't like it. I just think that it was... Meh. It was just really meh. So, yeah, uh, we will integrate Scotland. We will begin integrating Norway once they like us enough. We should be improving with them. We already are. Good, good. Uh, return to province is good. Revoked March status takes a while to come back. That's fine. We'll get them eventually. Castile has declared war on Cusco. We have a bad embargo against England. We're going to keep it, though. How's this disaster look? Totally fine. Good, good. Exceptional year. Uh, we will take... Let's see, we make 20, 2136, 21.36 divided by 1.51, our base income is 14.15 times 0.5, it's 12 months, that's 84 ducats. I think that it makes just more sense just to take the 84 ducats. Not that we really have that many concerns about money, but... Uh, what's this then? They're disloyal estates. Yeah, I stole all their monarch points, I know. We're upset about stuff. Got something expiring soon. And honorable people. Lots of prestige. Cool. Uh, we took military tax, so we're no longer behind. We got that S, that uh, tactics level, which is great. Next, we got to fill in a bunch more of these stupid naval ideas that are in quality. Naval attrition. Ugh. But 
then we get our Space Marines, and then maybe we'll be able to compete with the Commonwealth, who is rather scary, and we can attack Denmark. Alternatively, we could try to attack Bohemia, but Bohemia is inside the Empire, so that wouldn't work. Yep. And there's not a lot of avenues for expansion here. What if we attacked France? We have trade protection against France. Venice wouldn't honor a defensive call. Austria would defend against us because they're allies, so that'd be dumb. France is allied to Sweden. We border Sweden. Declare war on Sweden. Would Austria help us? They would, so we could force Austria to fight France. That would probably be a pretty good idea. Who's stronger, France or... Yeah, France has 65k, Austria's got 48k. Tech 15, Tech 14. Yeah, France is significantly stronger. We do want to beat him up a bit. As long as our truce. With you, Brabant. Till 94. Three more years. Well, I mean, we've had some fun beating up on England. That's been good. If we just stay, you know, hold tight. We don't actually need this prestige, so I guess we'll take the opinion. Even though Brandenburg's kind of a... Kind of a meh guy. You would not accept vassalization because you're an elector. Fair enough. You can't threaten war on a country's last province. What if we tried threaten war on Denmark? Let's try to get some spy network on them, get a couple claims. I doubt he's going to give us his capital, right? I don't even know if he can demand the capital, actually. And it's worth 36 development, so probably not. We could try to take, like, Bornholm from him. <laughs> Tree development. Thank you. The aggressive expansion that you get from it, though, is kind of crap. We have plenty of claims on Novorod. He's allied to there. We could declare war on Sweden, except I think we have a truce. Uh, is it just me, or have these guys been occupied for a long time? Hmm. Do do do. I guess we go on speed four. Not a lot going on right now. That's a lot of admin points. We're almost capped on uh, mercantilism. Twenty two hundred more diplo points. We'll be there. We've had plenty of excess. I think we can probably bump it up a few points right now, just to keep ourselves from getting too high. Mr. Commandant. We'll hire a Royal of Armies guy, keep things cheap. I would have preferred a higher level guy, but I also... It's the first video of my day, so I want to make sure that I've got enough money coming in. I usually err on the side of caution. English Separatists at 90%. Alright. Oh, okay, so we're going to have a rebellion over there. That sucks. That sucks a lot. We could raise autonomy. I think we do, because I don't really care about this land at all. Okay, what else do we have? Derby, Derby, Derbyshire, Derbyshire. Raise it there too. And then if this conversion can finish, then we'll have no issues. Think we can hold off until January? Maybe, maybe we get lucky. If I paid attention to it a little bit closer, we might, might, have, might have been able to avoid it altogether. The missionary is providing six unrest, so as soon as the conversion finishes, we will have no more unrest. Of course, we also get like nothing from the province. Well, some. Local tax modifier minus 99%. That's significant. Once one of these cores is finished, we'll also be able to start coring these other two provinces. Which is unfortunate, because eventually we're going to end up with a colonial nation out here. So, but hey, you know, it's something we can do. Wait, where are we converting? That's going to cause English separatists to... Let's, let's let the English separatists go away for a bit. They're already down to 70%, but why risk it? And General Antoon is dead. Very well. Uh, I think we want to build a spy network against you as well. Spy of ours was recently discovered. Well, of course he was. Alright, we'll go for a claim on your capital first. Let's just see if uh, there's any chance. Hey, you have no diplomats to send times two. Very important that they tell us about it twice. Can't demand the capital, but we've got a claim. Hold on. 
we're actually able to demand these provinces. Wait, no. Yeah, that one. And Bohuslan. Which is a Norwegian core. Five. Or we could try to take this one up here, which is three. I think we take this one. Well, this is less aggressive expansion. Let's take the one that's farther away. I threaten you. I want this one. And then uh, it automatically went to Norway, which is fine. He's immediately trying to convert it. We want to have interest per annum or yearly inflation reduction. Yearly inflation. I don't have any loans. Could you please get out of our province, Denmark? Alright, so our truce with Denmark is... Five years. Just five years. Okay. We threaten again soon. English separatists are down to 30%. Let's go ahead and start converting. Truce with Sweden. As soon as we can, I want to start fabricating claims on England again. Because next time we go to war with him, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the land. I suppose it, w it couldn't hurt to have a spy network against France. Although we'll probably just get caught. Because, you know... Can't have any fun with espionage ideas. Who else? We could try doing something against the Commonwealth, who has a few rebels, apparently. Just peasants. Man, a lot of people are dying these days. We'll take the cheapest guy because we have too many admin points as is. We're only making nine ducats a month right now anyway. Half manpower. And we've been at full maintenance this whole time. I don't really need to be there, do I? We could also ditch the mercs if we really wanted to. I think we'll hold on to them for now. Let's just go all the way down to no maintenance. Build buildings. What can we build? Uh, we have this province down here. Oh yeah, I forgot all about this. Uh, Yeah, I'll build a building there. Sure. We'll build a shipyard. Right, and that gave me the ability to do a claim there, and... Wow. He just loves giving me prestige. Sure, you know what? Just fabricate claims on all the things. So, Portugal, allied to France. Steel, allied to Riga, the Papal State, and Muscovy. Muscovy doesn't matter. Papal State doesn't really matter. Riga doesn't matter. The steel's definitely pretty weak. We've got 26k troops on tech 14. Yeah, we could park a 29 stack there and just roll over Castile, take some land down here. And the nice thing is that that would be pretty distant from over there. We would not have very many issues, I think, with aggressive expansion. So let's teleport, or not really teleport, but send these troops down that way. You think Munster would uh, accept a threat more from us? We should find out. All right, Denmark, I need another claim from you. But then I want to not worry about that, and instead I want to fabricate a claim on Munster. Oh my gosh, 10,000 days of integration so far. We've fed Scotland too much land, that's, that's the problem. 2,308 Dippo points. There goes our truce with Sweden. I don't think we're going to end up fighting France this way. We have no diplomats to spend to send, but we do have land there. Um, let's wait one more month. We'll fabricate two claims. Nope, we have no available fabricated claims anyway. The answer is no, just straight up no. Promise is not a Dutch core. Why is it saying that it would cede it to me? It says because of the Dutch claim, they will declare a war of conquest. Yes. It's not actually my claim, it's Norway's claim. They're not scared of us in any way. Okay, what about... Um, we could try against Lubick as well. If this does give us an opportunity to expand inside the Empire, I'll be very happy. 
We already have our two claims on um, on Castile. So I think once the army gets down here, we're actually ready to go to war. Because we're just going to declare it straight up. Capped on an admin points. Awesome. We have no inflation. We do have two territories right now. I'm assuming that one of them is over here. Newfoundland and Mer Mercia. You can't do that, apparently. Region map mode. Okay, I remember I keybound this. I just don't remember which one I did. Areas. W. Mercia. Ah, it's going to be this one. Right, right, right. Yep. I don't really see any reason to change that. So what are we going to spend these points on? I guess a little bit of development? Probably should have focused on development before doing that. We've got two pretty good ones. We're still doing ideas. Manpower recovery is still pretty important. I think we're fine with uh, the idea focus for now. The states demand more control of territory because I mucked it all up. Of course, this always happens. 9.9. Damn you, you stupid nobility. It's not cheap to develop here. That's the problem. The development for them and the burgers as well. Can we do it cheaply? 63 and 61, that's not bad. We'll go a little higher on these two. Hopefully that balances them out. We'll see next month. Okay, Sweden. No, Munster. I want to fabricate a claim on your province of Meppen. That's all I really care about. I won't be able to take your capital. Will you give me Meppen? Almost. But no. That sucks. Alright, well in that case, let's just declare this war. We can't do anything... Oh, there goes an admiral. Right on cue, right before the war. <laughs> we do have 43 army tradition, which is okay. Oh yeah, that's another change they fixed in this patch. You can now actually have a uh, army tradition from battles again. So that's nice. Okay, Lubick, let's try one more threatened war against you. Stop building a network. Fabricate a claim. No. Yeah. Let's try. Uh, can't take your capital. Let's take Lauenberg. Get a diplomat back. Give it to me. He'll say yes. Cool. Give it to me. Thank you. That was a nice, easy war. And beyond that, we'll come down here, and we'll now declare war on Castile. We have a truce. Damn it. Uh, till 95. Okay, so now they demand more control of more control provinces because I took more land. Awesome. You guys suck. All right. All these provinces have too much development. I can't I can't really justify giving you. Well, this one's only nine. Alright, sure. Who needs it who, who, need, who needs it more? I think the burgers might. You take this. Increases their loyalty up a little bit. Sure. You may have it. Well, that's curious. Oh, it's already a state. Okay. Alright. Well, that still leaves the nobility a little bit pissy. 
I'm not going to give them more land. I think we're just going to bite the bullet and upgrade, pay a few extra admin points here. Whatever. Alright, cool. Well, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, should we continue this campaign? Because we might not. I don't know. It depends. I'm going to stop recording here, actually, and see what your comments say. And if, if a lot of people want us to continue this campaign, maybe I will, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning toward doing something different. You know, I was looking forward to the John Mayan idea with the Ottomans, or with any other country, really. But we can't do that on, on Iron Man mode. And... I don't know, I'm really disappointed in espionage ideas, so... It's not really floating my boat right now. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here though, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you soon.